Give me Aunt Sally a treat of walnuts, these will. <laughs> then she can put them in a jam jar and sniff at them. Him with a stick of rhubarb. How'd she manage that? Oi, come here, you. Hello, Wurzel. Hello. Well, never mind all that to What do you want? I like that. You just called us over. Well, you didn't have to come, did you? Well, now that you has come, I want you to do something for me. I want you to run after me Aunt Sally and give her these here flowers with my collar. Why should we? Why should you? Because if you don't, I'll kick her from little Toodle Dipswick, that's why. Oh, you'd charm the birds off the trees, you would, Wurzel. Well, all right, that's it to you. Which way did she go? Well, she went uh, that way uh, and that way. Well, make your mind up. I'm telling you, Master Smarty Pants. As sure as oats is oats and rooks is rooks. She went up there and down there both at the same time. He doesn't know which way she went. Look, if we can take half the flowers each, you can go that way and I can go that way. OK. See you back at Scatterbrook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget to say who they're from, then, with my collet, man. With the compliments of Earl Gummidge. It's the only explanation. It must be two Aunt Sally's. It can't be. Why not? She's only a fairground coconut shy. There have been hundreds of Aunt Sally's at one time. Well, don't let Aunt Sally hear you saying that. Don't let which Aunt Sally? The real one, silly. But they're both real. Oh, stop being difficult. You know the one I mean. The one Wurzel's soppy about. <laughs> Wurzel? He's so thick he wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Even if one of them had woodworm. <laughs> well, there must be a difference. What did your one look like? Like Aunt Sally. Well, so did mine. Wait a minute, though. In one way, she was like Aunt Sally, but in another, she wasn't. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Something she said when I gave her the flowers. Come on, then. What did she say? She said, thank you. She's the imposter, all right. Mm. Come in. Mr. Crowman, we didn't know you were eating. It's all right, come along in. Now, what can I do for you? Well, uh, Mr. Crowman. Huh? You see, um. Well? It's just we're very worried about Wurzel. Huh, who isn't? If I worried about Wurzel all the time, I'd worry myself into an early grave. You must forgive me, I must get on with my cooking. Oh, I'll do it for you if you like. I'm a very good cook. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, what is it? See, Mr. Crowman. Uh -huh. Well, it's not just Wurzel. It's Aunt Sally. We think there's two of them. Well, of course there's two of them. There are lots of Aunt Sally's. Every travelling fair used to have one. Not so much nowadays, which is a pity. Although when I think of our Aunt Sally, I'm not so sure that it is. But you made it, Mr. Crowman. I did not make Aunt Sally. I thought I made that clear. No, if I had made her, I'd have taken her to pieces years ago. But if Wurzel's got another Aunt Sally like Aunt Sally, he'll be twice as miserable as he is now. Ah, but all Aunt Sally's aren't like our Aunt Sally. Some are good and kind and generous. No, Wurzel will just have to take his chance. After all, he's a fully grown scarecrow, even if he is a bit short up top. You can say that again. A bit short up top. Here you are, Mr. Crowman. Oh, 
Thank you, Mickey. That does look nice. Now, you two help yourselves to a cup of tea and pour a saucer full for me. And then we can have some of my flummerty jack. Hmm? Bumblebee. Can't nobody have 11 to 12 drinks without you pestering? Go on, buzz off! Oh, hello, Aunt Sally! Yeah, hang on a minute. We need a sec. Aunt Sally! Aunt Sally! Over here! I'm sorry I couldn't come running after you, Aunt Sally. Only the crow man's on his way with his nice new string and told me trousers that way when I run this horse down. Pardon me for mentioning anything so disgusting. There's nothing disgusting about trousers falling down. It could happen to anybody. <laughs> Mama, I never thought I'd live to be a thing like that, Aunt Sally. <laughs> Did you get them flowers that sent you? Yeah? Oh, they was from you, was they? Oh, yes, thanks. They was delicious. Well, you mean yet, yeah, Tim? Why? Wasn't I supposed to? I don't know, Aunt Sally. I, I always thought you were supposed to stick them in a jam jar and sniff at them. Only oity-toity folk does that. Oh, ain't you oity-toity no more, Aunt Sally? No, I ain't. Say that again. No, I ain't. Oh, my, my, my. <laughs> hey, was I expecting you to say, Oh, no, I aren't all lardy down top of oity -toity. those. oity well, what have I got to be oity-toity about? I don't know, Aunt Sally, only I was awful pleased that he ain't. Here, I found a limited to 12 for his piece this morning. I don't suppose you'd like to come down to the village shop and have a cup of tea and a slice of cake with me, would you? Wouldn't I just? I do know, then. I see you outside the village tea shop, half past 22. Half past 22. I'll be there. What's come over my Aunt Sally? But I was as pleased as a pig with two snouts that it has. Oh, good day, Mr. Shepherd. Uh, morning, Mr. Crowman. It's not so good for them as it's just ever fortune slips through their fingers. My Aunt Sally's gone again. Oh, I am sorry. Yeah, she was up for an auction, and like as not be snapped up by some big American dealer for thousands and thousands. Put her in my shed, they're ready to take her up to town tomorrow. Turn me back and she's gone. Local children, I expect. They borrow your Aunt Sally for dressing up games. Borrowing, you call it. Stealing, I says. I'd skin the eyes off them. Yeah, well, I must be on my way, oh, Mr. Uh, Shepard. Uh, Mr. Coleman, you get around a bit. Keep your eyes on the borrow, will you? I will indeed, Mr. Shepard. I will indeed. Aunt Sally! Aunt, Aunt Sally! Uh, hang on a minute, Aunt Sally. Yes, what is it, my man? You're going the wrong way. I shall go which whomever way I choose, as long as it's downwind of you, you smelly old scarecrow. <laughs> That's quite right, Aunt Sally. Only the village tea shop's that way. Tea Did you say tea shop? Yeah, I thought you were going to let me treat you to a cup of tea and a slice of cake. But of course I am, dear Wurzel. It'll be an honour and a privilege to take tea with you. Shall I take your arm? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I can't go just yet, Aunt Sally. I could hang around here for a bit and wait for the crow man to bring me a nice new bit of string to hold my trousers up. Disgusting! You can't take me for tea when you can't even afford a pair of braces. Well, that's where you're wrong, you see. Because I told you I found this 11 to 12 pence piece. Oh, yes, that's mine. It fell through an hole in my dilly bag. Take yours, it's mine. Find his keepers, lose his way, babe. But I thought you wanted to take me for tea, was huh? Yeah, well, so I does. But how am I going to pay for it if you've got my 11 to 12 pence piece? Well, don't be silly. I'll pay. Look, I'll go on ahead and order the tea and cakes in case anyone eats them before we get there. Yeah, right, Aunt Sally. I have a cream cake and a chocolate cake and a cup of tea and a bit of coffee cake. Very well. Au revoir. Au right, revoir, yeah, Aunt Sally. Mm -hmm. Funny, Aunt Sally. Who is Aunt Sally? One minute it's blow hot and the next minute it's blow cold. So, still in all whichever way you blows. Oh, Wurzel loves you just the same. Wurzel! Wurzel coming! Come, Mr. Crowman, just won't give you for a minute. Excuse me. Are you and Aunt 
Sally. Yes, little girl. Why do you ask? Well, it might just be a bit awkward. You see, we've already got one, Aunt Sally. I expect she fell off a fairground trailer, same as what I did. Still, it'll be very nice to meet another Aunt Sally. I don't think you'd like this, Aunt Sally. I know who you would like, though. Have you met Wurzel Gummidge? Wurzel Gummidge? The Scarecrow. Oh, him. My ancient charming. He's taking me to tea, you know. You sure he's got any money? Oh, yes. He's got an 11 to 12 pence piece. Are you going to marry him? Oh, he hasn't asked me yet. He will. There, Wurzel. Put your twiggy finger there. That's it. No, that's not too tight. No, thank you, Mr. Cromancer. That's uh, just right. <laughs> now I can walk down to the village without my trousers falling down. Go uh, down to the village, Wurzel. Uh, only in the manner of speaking, Mr. Cromancer. What I mean is that I can stop here scaring rooks without my trousers falling down. Today's one of your birthdays, isn't it? That's right, Mr. Cromancer. Yeah, it's my left leg's birthday. And I suppose it's expecting to get a present. Prezi? Oh, no, I don't deserve no present, Mr. Crow. Quite right, you don't. No, what I mean to say is that I, I don't deserve it because I'm too dirty and stupid to get a present. All I deserve is to stand out here in this cold, wet field. And, and not like other deserving folks who get cups of tea and slices of cake and, and sausages and cream. All and... right, Wurzel. Another 11 to 12 pence piece. Thank you very much, you munificent. Thank you very, very much. Well, huh? while you're standing there scaring crows, you might think on one thing. Aunt Sally may not be quite what you think she is. <laughs> words out of my mouth. I was about to say, just fancy. How de do? How de do, I'm sure. And what brings you to this part of the world, may I beg leave to ask? Have you settled in one of the caravans hereabouts? Or are you just a common day tripper? Well, I was on my way to the seaside to immigrate to Australia or America, because the fair I've been working at's closed down, and they was going to chop me up for firewood. But I've just met ever such a nice scarecrow. So I thought I might stay. Are you by any chance referring to my Wurzel Gummidge? That's right. He's taking me to tea. Was taking you to tea, you mean? Only, unfortunately, he sends his apologies, but he's got his head stuck in the combine harvester. <laughs> what a pity. Never mind. Gives you and me a chance to have a little art to our chat. Sweet, please. One Aunt Sally to another Aunt Sally. I'd just like to know one thing. What's your little game? My little game, Aunt Sally? I don't know what you mean, Aunt Sally. Oh, yes, you do, Aunt Sally. Coming into villages what already has all the Aunt Sallys they need and pinching scarecrows from underneath their very noses. I never pinched him, Aunt Sally. It was the other way around, if you wants to know. He sent two chichi humans over with a bunch of flowers. They was delicious. You mean you ate them, Aunt Sally? How common and vulgar. But Aunt Sally's is common and vulgar, Aunt Sally. Not all Aunt Sally's, Aunt Sally. Some Aunt Sally's have left their fairground days behind them. Besides, those flowers what you ate happened to be for me. No, they wasn't, Aunt Sally. He gave them to me. Only because he thought you were me, Aunt Sally. Well, why ever should he think that? I know we're both Aunt Sally's and we both look the same, but anyone can tell we ain't the same. Not if you have nothing between your ears but turnip, Aunt Sally. Besides, Wurzel Gummidge thinks that I'm Unicu. Unicu? Mm -hmm. What's that mean, Aunt Sally? It means, Aunt Sally, there is only one Aunt Sally. But that ain't true, Aunt Sally. There's two of us at least. And at one time there was Aunt Sally's by the hundred. You know that and I know that, Aunt Sally. But Wurzel Gummidge doesn't know that. And what is more, he ain't gonna find out neither. Why ever not, Aunt Sally? It stands to reason, Aunt Sally. 
How can I go on treating him like dirt when he knows I'm not Unicu? Next time I laugh in his face when he wants to marry me, he'll simply turn around and marry you. Oh, that'd be nice. A wedding. And you could be my bridesmaid, Aunt Sally. Do be pus 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 pus, Aunt Sally. Well, I've so enjoyed our little chat. And now it remains for me to say one more thing. Bonnie voyage. Oh, you don't ask know a lot of posh words, Aunt Sally. What's Bonnie Voyage mean? It simply means, Aunt Sally, that unless you're out of this village within half an hour, I'll saw your head off. He's too stupid. Well, at least I can try. Wurzel! Wurzel, can we talk to you? No, you can't. I made me Aunt Sally here for a cup of tea and a slice of cake. And already my mouth's watering like a slobbering pig. Go on, push up out of it. Right, Aunt Sally, because the crow man gave me another 11 to 12 pence piece for my left leg's bestest birthday. <laughs> but you know what is the more? No. Good. I'll choose. Before you stuff that cake down your lovely throat, do you mind if I ask you a question? To marry you, I suppose. Well, that as well, but something else. Is... Aunt Sally, how does you manage to be one place at once and another place at once, all at the same time? Sure, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, same as this morning, when I sent them three to humans across with that bunch of flies for you. I mean, you was going that way and the other way both at once. Nonsense. I've been when there's only one Aunt Sally and Unico. Everyone knows that. Oh! Would you excuse me for a minute? When you're just seen a friend of mine, a lady of quality, but I want to spend the time of day with. Quick, she's coming! Which way did she go? That way! I saved the biggest and bestest for you. Well, share it, boys, though. Oh. There's art for you yeah. and art for me. He's in big proper arms and all. He, I, I've never known you shared a cake before, Aunt Sally. No, no, not in big proper arms, did it? It's because I like Shores. I think you're a charm. Does he really? I think you're a charming too, Aunt Sally. <laughs> Boys, though, I was wondering. Wondering what, Aunt Sally? Well, as you think so, I'm so charming. I was wondering. Huh? Was there anything in particular you wanted to ask me? No, 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 Would you do me the greatly honor of accepting my hands in marriage? Well, Warsaw, as you're so charming and gives us flowers and cakes and a cup of tea, a cup of tea. I can't think of any reason why not. Oh, 
Oh, Aunt Sally. You've made me so happy, Aunt Sally. I was the happiest scarecrow in, in the old wild world. Aunt Sally, why for is you whistling without any sound coming out? I'm waiting for my bridal kiss, Wurzel. Charming, but hush. Right, you wait here, Aunt Sally. I'll get get a messenger pigeon to take a message to his enemy, the crow man, to tell him his army wants to get wed. And I'll go and choose a new bonnet to get married in. <laughs> Thank you, Titches. You can come to the wedding if you like. Yeah, they can be bridesmaids. <laughs> yeah, bridesmaids. Hey. John. Well, how in the name of thunder did I get there? Look at that, Mrs. Pendlebury, standing up there in the middle of the street like a broken statue. I hope you're not going to leave it there, Mr. Shepherd. It's in a no-waiting zone. Leave it there? Of course I'm not going to leave it there. That's a valuable antique, that is. Why, half the dealers in America are queuing up to buy my Aunt Sally. Here, and don't you go giving me no ticket while I'm loading her up either, because I'm earning valuable dollars for export. I bet. Mr. Shepherd? Sorry about that. Nothing personal. Now then, Humphrey, don't forget to ask the crow man, nice and polite, if we can have a nice big wedding cake apiece. One for Aunt Sally to chuck at me, and another for me to chuck at Aunt Sally. All right? <laughs> right, off you go. There isn't your wedding bonnet yet, Aunt Sally. Wedding bonnet? And what, pray, should I be doing with a wedding bonnet? Well, for to get married in, like what you just said you would. I said nothing of the sort. As well you know, Russell Gummidge, I wouldn't marry you for a million pounds! Sorry, Aunt Sally. And in future, I want you treating me like the antique you aren't Sally what I am. I want you bowing and scraping every time you speak to me. Is that understood? Yes, Aunt Sally. Very sorry. Aunt Take your hat off when you speak to a lady. And don't walk alongside me, Wurzel Gummidge. Two paces behind. That's the right place for you. Yes, Aunt Sally. Very sorry, Aunt Sally. Two paces behind. Don't you forget it. No, I won't forget it. Good. Yes, yeah, I have to take my time. 